Uh, hi, everyone. Thanks for having me. My name is Matt. I'm one of the faculty members for the Pediatric Emergency Program here at BCIT. Um, so we see a little bit here about who this is for, and I'll kind of echo a lot of what my fellow colleagues have said about their own programs uh, for RNs um, who are looking to specialize, whether that's a diploma to specialize and to get your BSN or for practicing RNs. I think what's important for our program is to specify that you don't need to work in pediatric specific hospitals to take our program. Um, as we've seen this last winter, kids will show up to any emergency departments, any hospital, not just those ones specialized for kids. So we really encourage if, you know, these next couple of slides speak to you and you really want to, uh, you know, care for kids in this type of setting. To, to consider um, specializing in pediatric emergency because you're, you're needed wherever you work, not just in those specialized centers. Uh, you need to obviously have a, a passion for helping children and, and families. Uh, I think emergency is, is specifically where they're maybe the most vulnerable patients that we can see. You know, kids in emergency are, are super sick and, and they, need, they need our care. Uh, lots of interpersonal creative skills is important. Um, and, and similar to what the rest of uh, uh, my colleagues have said as well, you do not necessarily need to be a pediatric nurse. You don't necessarily need to be an emergency nurse. Uh, just that passion. You know, obviously having that background in peds or in emergency uh, will help you in the program. But we have new grads uh, do extremely well as they kind of navigate the, our, our courses as well. So all you really need is a passion for kids, a passion for emergency, and we'll, we'll, we'll sort you through the rest. So kind of like I said earlier, uh, pediatric emergency is quite uh, special in the sense, you know, we're a relatively new program and unique uh, across Canada. There's no other program like it. Um, so you, you come to us and you learn everything there is about emergency, everything there is about children. You know, if, if any of you have your own kids at home or you're an aunt or an uncle, um, you know that there's so many differences to these ages, you know, a two-year-old and a five-year-old, a two-month-old and a five-month-old are so different. So we're going to learn you and we're going to equip you with all that knowledge you need to be able to assess them properly, to be able to intervene properly, to communicate to them properly. Because that's kind of the main, the, one of the main problems that we have is we, how do we communicate to a two-year-old who wants to claw my eyes out, right? So we're going to teach you all of these things. We're going to equip you with the knowledge that you need and the confidence that you need to, to, to care for these really sick kids. One thing I particularly like about Peds Emergency and it's really kind of fueled my passion for it is you, we encourage you to keep that, you know, to be a big, big kid in the department, you know, to keep that curiosity yourself, to keep that enthusiasm. You now are, you get paid to kind of, you know, be silly and, and it's encouraged. So we really, uh, really appreciate that side of the nursing. Um, you're going to learn things about yourself uh, that you are surprising to you. You're going to learn ways to communicate that are surprising to you. Um, and if you, if that sounds like you want to, uh, if that sounds like you with you, you know, keeping that inner child alive, then uh, Peds Emergency Pediatrics is, is definitely something you should consider. So we offer our program in a variety of ways. Um, part time, if uh, is 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 an option that we see across Canada. And it's done similar to the rest. So you'll kind of take one course at a time, spanning about three months in duration. We have, we share two prerequisites with emergency. So you'll learn how to read ECGs and you'll also get an introduction about emergency nursing in general. And then you come to uh, the actual PEDS emergency courses, which are three theory courses. And we also offer clinical experiences across Canada. So, you know, how I mentioned earlier that we encourage you, if you love uh, caring for kids, to apply for this program no matter where you work. Um, you get the opportunity to experience a practicum in a specialized pediatric center. Uh, we have lots of relationships with different centers around Canada, and we've had tons of feedback about the, the learning and the value that that has to be able to kind of be a sponge for, for 12 shifts and to learn everything there is about specialized pediatric care. And we offer that across Canada, of that clinical experience. Um, we also offer it compressed time frame as well. So if you are within BC, we can be very flexible and you can reach out to, to me or, or Carrie or Maya um, about how that would look like. But we do offer compressed and we do offer it, you know, if you're close to the lower mainland um, where you get sponsored by your area of work perhaps as well. So that's an, uh, an, uh, an avenue that you can explore on your own or, or by contacting us as well. 
Um, and again, there's two clinical experiences uh, in, in uh, the Lower Mainland, which we, which we offer as well. And I think we have a video from one of our, uh, one of our favorite students, Kyle. So thanks, Kyle, for coming out today. I know it's super busy in today's world, but I appreciate you taking a couple minutes here just to speak to, to, speak to the program. Uh, so if you'd like to maybe just say hi and introduce yourself. Perfect. Uh, hi, my name is Kyle, uh, and I previously worked in the emergency department at Children's Hospital. Uh, and currently, I am a coordinator with the Vancouver Pediatric Team and a clinic nurse with Insight. Great. Yeah. Well, thanks for thanks for coming, Kyle. Thanks for sharing all of your insight. Uh, so, you know, thinking back, you took our program a couple of years ago now. Uh, so, just thinking back uh, to to that time when you joined, uh, what? Did, why did you? Why did you decide to you know take the leap and join the program? And, and what did you envision for yourself? Yeah. The the emergency department is one of those places where you get to be the jack of all trades, master of none, uh, and it's a controlled chaos, and it's a perfect mix for um, getting a lot of things accomplished, but it, it doesn't really give you that opportunity to take a deep dive and to really understand and hone certain skills. Uh, so what I was really looking forward to with the program was the opportunity to consolidate uh, my knowledge uh, and my practice and to um, get into that simulation world and prepare for those one in, mil one in a million cases that PEDS is known for. Yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you spoke to that because that's that's a huge advantage of of taking the time in these programs, right? Is to the ability to be a student again and to, and to be vulnerable <laughs> and to and to learn all these things that we may not, especially in emergency, you know, have the time to actually understand some of the things that we're seeing because it's it's quite chaotic. So I appreciate you saying that. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, so reflecting on your time at, at BCIT, uh, what did you like about the program? What what did you value in it? Well, you know, reflecting on those uh, three months. Um, I, reflecting back on it, I, I really valued my time with the instructors. Um, I felt uh, coming into this experience, um, it, in some ways, I felt like a nursing student all over again, but then working with my instructors and my um, and the clinical instructors, it was it was as if we were peers and we were all learning together, uh, which was a great environment to be in. Um, the other piece that I, I really valued was the simulation, um, the amount of simulation practice, the equipment that was accessible to us. Um, I, I felt that I, I could directly see from before I started the program to after my confidence in the, in the critical care setting and just being able to navigate um, uh, what should be happening, um, how to advocate for, for clients and just the communication level that that should be there. Yeah, I couldn't agree. I couldn't agree more. The the team we have in our in our little program is is quite amazing, and you know not only the experience that our, you know our instructors have, but also I I think you know the networking as well. You know, pediatric yeah. emergency can sometimes be a little bit of a <laughs> its own in its own little world. So you know that networking, you know, learning from people, you know, so experienced and so knowledgeable, it definitely puts a perspective on everything and. And I mean, branching off of that as well is that simulation staff that we have as well and the experiences that, that they, the work that they put into, you know, for us as faculty and for you guys as students is quite amazing. And that's, that's great. Well, thanks, Kyle. So the last little bit I would like, love you to speak to is, you know, again, reflecting back, you know, before you were entering the program and as you were moving through it is where you, where did you envision yourself, you know, where did you envision yourself going with nursing and where did, where did you think it was going to take you? Yeah. Um... My my big plan was either education or leadership, um, and one of the other pieces that alerted me to the program was the the um, the frameworks and the processes um, that would help with uh, teaching and supporting new staff and preceptors and in the emergency department um, and and yeah just kind of looking at different master's programs for um, for for leadership and policy type things. Great. Yeah. And that's why I was really excited to have you come and, and speak because, you know, now working in, in, in a pediatric public health yeah. lens, you know, it, it just goes to show that the skills you learn, you know, in a pediatric emergency program can be, yeah. you know, extrapolated and, and threaded through any sort of either emergency or pediatric care that you that you kind of venture off into. And so that's amazing. Great. Yeah. Well, thanks, yeah. Kyle. Yeah. I appreciate you. I appreciate you coming and I appreciate you taking the time out and uh, we'll, we'll see you around. Sounds good. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, Scott.